Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of our Let's Play of Cities Skylines. Uh, again, if you're curious about what patches I'm using, make sure to go back to, I think, episode 7 is the last time I covered the patches, or the, the mods, or patches. Um, and uh, you too can have some awesome, awesome stuff going on. So what we're going to do in this episode is bulldoze this interchange, which I believe the map started with. And we are going to replace it. Actually, I guess I can bulldoze a bunch of this. Replace it with a four-way interchange. Again, I'm not expecting that much traffic to go north-south. It's mostly just I want to be able to connect up to the highway from over here to feed this industrial area. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to the interchanges panel. And fortunately, you know, obviously we don't get our screenshots in here because whatever. They are working on it, though. So let's see a few of these. Big diamond interchange. It's huge. Really good throughput. This cool five-way one is awesome, but it's not what we're looking for. We might need a lot of room. Some of them are a little more compact, though. Now that might work. That's Oh, I might have duplicates. Oh, I bet you I do. What? I don't know what this is. It's actually sort of a four-way... What is this one even called? Tim Timbo Spaghetti Interchange. Oh, sort of a copy of the original um, Spaghetti Interchange. Yeah, it's a lot of dupes, but some of these are nice and small. Gothic Interchange. South Direction B Trumpet. I like these trumpets. This is actually quite a sexy one, too. But not what we're looking for. A trumpet. What is this one called? Navarkerplatz. Oh, that's that's something else. That's a um, public transit sort of thing. Y stack interchange. Nope. There we go. Here's a four-way. Although, oh, it's not connecting up to highways, though. Which is really what we're looking for. Roundabout interchange. That's interesting. Why don't we give this one a go? I haven't seen that before. I need a little bit more space. God, Mom, just give me some space. Um, roundabout interchange. And as I mentioned in the last video, as long as you, when you're making your own interchanges, make sure your slopes aren't very steep. And they'll make it much easier to place in the world. And you can see here, these are very gentle slopes, which makes it a lot easier for people to use, no matter what their terrain looks like. Let's get that going. Oh, yeah. A bit, a bit, you know, unaligned, but that's okay. Like so. Like so. Okay. And then how do we want to connect up to this? It's an excellent question because we actually don't need it to be a highway anymore. Can we just, like, go directly from a highway to, like, a six lane? Does that end up doing something crazy? I don't know. Actually, that is perfectly, perfectly functional. Excellent. Now, it might make a lot more sense, actually, if this sort of cross-connection we're actually in line with the highway as opposed to forcing people to make more corners. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to use we're going to keep using the six lane here, which I mostly am avoiding. But I think this area of town it sort of makes sense to have that going on. Oh, hold on. That's right. We want to keep it elevated the whole way. Almost as if it were a highway. And maybe we'll connect down over there. So now that I'm through here, I can go ahead down to ground level. Let's go all the way. Not quite aligned, but that's okay. Let's go that way. That way we'll have it nicely aligned and bulldoze that. Okay. Look at this. Roundabout interchange. Now we know that roundabouts are a little iffy in this game. I'm not convinced that this is going to be super fast and support a lot of traffic, but it looks awesome. And that's fine. It doesn't impede... The, the traffic going east-west is going to be almost completely unimpeded, which is fine. The traffic going north-south is going to be perfectly unimpeded, which is good. It's just a question of people making these corners. How badly are going, they going to be slowed down? You know what? I don't care. It just looks awesome. Why well, say that now? We'll see how we feel a little bit later. Okay. 
Um, I can change that into a T just to minimize a little bit. This is complaining about uh, power, which I can't blame them. Um, speaking of power, so let's go ahead and clear this up. Almost certainly we're going to have to redeploy some of this soon, but I want to zone this area up. So let's go back to our little four-lane avenue here, which, again, I don't feel are very optimal roads, but they do work. And we've got sort of a theme going on here, and we'll leave a little bit of a gap. I totally did that on purpose. Okay, not exactly, but I'm not... Um, that I don't like, that it's not straight. And now it's like permanently effed up my zoning there. Awesome. There we go. Just trying to keep it as square as possible. And here, there we go. Now, you know what? We have that one gap in there. We're going to keep it for this one. So that's a three hopper. There we are. That. All right, that doesn't horribly mess up all my zoning too, too much. That's okay. And then from here, right, um, people are going to come in and out, but they might want to service this. How do we get that to work the way we want? Well, probably via one ways and whatnot, but <clears throat> let's go ahead and do that. Because again, this will need to service some of this industry over here. All right, so let's bulk zone this as industry. A bit crazy sauce, but that's okay. Except for not right on the highway there just to minimize starts and stops right in that section certainly we will need police and fire over here the police coverage is sort of there we will need more um i'm making half decent money let's go ahead and just put down a bigger police station that's going to be okay but it definitely will need its own fire actually this area needs fire services as well okay so the power connection I guess we'll do that. And at least temporarily. I'm going to manually sort of jiggle in there. We'll do one of those. And once this industry grows in, we will be fine. I don't like how many power lines we're having to run, though be a little excessive. Um, we do want an incinerator in this end of town. They don't care about pollution, so we'll do that. Um, certainly we will want... What are we looking for? A little death care. And probably should have their own hospital as well. Like that. Good enough. Oh, it makes these people happy too. Well, that's convenient. And apparently they need water. Indeed they do. Who knew that human beings need hydration to survive? I thought you could get by on beer and whiskey. There, that's what I want a DLC for. Uh, a booze industry. I want rum distilleries, um, potentially some pirates. Hey, we're playing Tropico. Doo -doo -doo. So yeah, this traffic here, still, you know, a little wacky because there's, you know, a lot of demand right here. Almost all of it is going that one direction, though. I guess by being connected over here, there's really not as many things that are going to require that left turn, which is very nice. There's still, you know, an excess of intersection just happening, but it's far from the end of the world. Oh, some, some vehicles are going the other way. But overall, we're going to be all right. That's got that train service. doesn't have a bus service yet. We're going to want to factor that in. <laughs> this is still all kinds of awesome. You're complaining about workers. We do have a lot of residential demand. Um, also commercial, also lots of things. Hang on, we want to make sure that this is all aligned. Let's start a little further down. Something like this. So by starting your marquee tool on a square, it'll make sure the marquee is aligned with that square. I don't want to go too close to the pollution over there. Is all I'm trying to avoid. How's your water coverage? Not quite complete. Do a little bit of that. A little bit of that. There shouldn't be a power complaint. I mean, maybe for a second there while it's still growing in, but ultimately that'll be fine. Um, we're going to tuck in a little bit of office space over here, just because it's not concerned about the noise pollution. And then what I think I'm going to do is continue the six. Uh, that's a 
four lane. Let's do the six lane, it's going to be fine. But tree lined over this way. And this is going to be in um, a commercial or a residential area. Just going to make sure to allow a little bit of a gap between this and the um, commercial. Actually, we can probably fill in, fit in some offices there. And then we'll leave like one little gap there. That'll be fine. And we'll work on some cross streets this way. We don't want to connect up to the highway. Sort of every other one is actually going to connect up to our sixth lane. There really shouldn't be that much traffic over here. Although, who knows how this will be connected later. That is not the right road. Go short by one. These hills, though. And by doing this, too, it minimizes how much zoning will be on the six-lane road itself, which is another important tool to cut back on traffic. So this is going to be pretty heavy residential. Again, let's go and start with a square, so our marquee is kind of aligned here. Like that, and then we'll fit in some offices. Starting from here and down, and then in there as well. Make sure it's got water coverage. Power should come in time on its own. Where's the snap to mark? Come on. I guess it's not that important, but it feels good to have straight lines, even for water pipes. Okay, they'll come in. Certainly they will need some services, including schooling over here. We're going to want another university at some point, but maybe not yet. Get a, a um, crematorium right next to the incinerator. Just a combo that always strikes me as pretty funny, so what the hell. Police coverage. Basically non-existent. Oh, this is fire coverage, actually. But still. Get you here, so you've got a few options. Police coverage. Very poor as well. Although there's not much in the way of crime, but still. Get them. Okay, good. And then maybe some bus routes over here. Which is going to run, even say, through this area here, back down that way, over to here, and then is ultimately looking to connect up to the other bus system in some fashion. Very good. Boom. This area needs buses, and we can have buses that maybe go from... Let's try to start... There we go, create a new line. Nope, there it is. Create a new line from here. Runs all the way... to there, and back. Job is just to create, connect these two... There, technically, you can stop on that side, too, and then go. Connect these two areas by bus. I don't know how often that'll be used... But it'll be interesting to see. Then we'll just get a bit of um, something so that technically the industrial area here is covered by buses. And then we'll go to... I guess this bus stop. This is a nice interchange bus stop that we've got that connects a few different lines. I don't know how long people will spend on any given bus line, you know, or, or collection of stops, but hopefully. They will be happy with that kind of service. Alright, complaining about employees, probably just an education level thing. What kind of employees are you looking for? Smart or dumb? Kind of a mix, and actually you just need numbers. Well, people are moving in right now. Making money hand over fist, people are coming in. We've got a new zone over here, which is wonderful. Hopefully the traffic situation here isn't too bad. You're being supplied by that quite well. You should go and expand and fill this in relatively soon, actually. What we don't have down here are parks. Let's get a few of those going on. 
there. Kind of an odd shaped park just fit in here. One of those like that. That's the big one. I think that's going to be too big for this area at this point. There we go. Good stuff. Slightly different park over here. Oh, no parks at all over here. That's no good. Better. Still not quite there. Well, that's a big one. Let's get, uh, let's get a swimming pool. Is this it? Yeah. And we'll replace this tiny little building here with a swimming pool. Boom! Very good. Another one over there. People love their pools. That's sort of at an end of a road. Stuck it in right there. Nice. Okay. Yeah, people are moving in very quickly. Do I have the auto bulldozed? Yeah, looks like I do. You can see these abandoned buildings are very quickly being auto bulldozed. The problem here is just the, the worker access, but they're starting to come in quite quickly as we're getting more of these. We do want a little bit more commercial. What I think I'm going to do... Uh, we actually have a fair amount of commercial over here that hasn't even grown up yet. Uh, wait, was that commercial? That's office. This is commercial. We could go and put some in here. It's quite polluty. I don't know how much that bothers commercial. Might not be too much of a barrier, actually. Let's go ahead and give it a go. Uh, the demand is high. Even around this polluted area. Might get some extra unhealthiness, but we'll deal with it. How's this interchange? Mm, traffic is flowing relatively good. They are making a lot of, like, 90-degree corners that are slowing them down a fair bit. But so far, so good. Bit of a bottleneckish thing going on over here. Now, some of it is because this, this lane here doesn't make any sense. Never gets used. Probably could do a better job here. And the reason that lane never gets used is because they're interpreted as a um, a U-turn over this way, which should never ever happen. So we're not getting our full functionality, and that's going to back up into the roundabout now and screw up everything. So let's do one of those first. Then one of these. Which actually, this could be a highway the whole way down now. Doesn't make a difference. Um, but no, then it would... And we still have this one lane that doesn't get used for anything else. Every time we put down this highway here. So it's sort of unavoidable. But, at least, by pushing this back over here, I'll we'll put the barriers, um, it allows us a little bit more space. <laughs> that, that is awesome. Um, a little bit more space to this to be worked out. I yeah, if this backs up into the, um, into the roundabout, that traffic is going to be horrible forever. Hmm, some people are making a U-turn. Oh, some of these cars were cars that were originally going north. So they still won't use that extra lane. Which is often going to be a big problem. How else do I want to work this? Now you can use this lane to go straight through to down here. Uh, 
I don't want people tying up this road by making that, though. So. We'll buy two. Uh, we gotta position our pillars successfully over here. And then come in over there. There. So anyone coming from here that is trying to go north no longer has to clog up this little bit of space. We still have an intersection. That should help. They're using all three lanes. Excellent. Two of these should be to go straight. One should be to turn. Did this create a stop? No. Just a bit of a slowdown over here. There's no longer a bottleneck here, which is really nice. This is really poor, though. This could probably be alleviated with some one-ways. Maybe, and, you know, I feel like that's always the shotgun approach. It's just, let's one-way all the things. But this might be a good example for that here. Simplify this intersection pretty dramatically. That actually gets rid of all the traffic lights completely here. Well, that's interesting. That's actually really interesting. Why wouldn't there be a stop for people making the left-hand turn there? Well, I won't complain about it. This is also nicely split up in three, although most people will be turning left from here just because there's just not a lot of stuff there. There we go. The traffic here is much, much, much improved. Really good. Also, some of this extra lane changes might be avoidable if we went and triple lane this a little bit sooner, although it's a bit tight. might still be difficult to do. There's starting to be a lot of traffic over here. I'm concerned about this roundabout structure. I'm not sure that it can handle a mass amount of, tra of traffic. And that's not the reason that this roundabout structure exists. It exists because it's kind of cool. But this weaving right here, this is potentially crippling. And one of the things we might want to do is give people the opportunity. Like, a lot of this traffic is traffic coming from the west that wants to go south. We might want to have it bypass the um, the roundabout completely. I don't think we're going to be able to keep this intersection. It just doesn't have enough capacity. It's too slow. It looks so good, but it's way too slow. I mean, this doesn't help. I will I will give it that. There's still a lot of backlog here, which is really frustrating. There's no traffic here. This isn't a traffic light. Now, we could get rid of this traffic light if we just used a couple of one-ways. I think it would just push the problem back. Like, if I had a one-way coming in and another one coming out over here, I think it would just add to the problem. What if I just made this a couple of on and off ramps? Where is this car going? Where on earth could this vehicle be going? Ah, right. I mean, I could just ramp from here to there, and again... Get rid of this. Use this one here. It does not create a traffic light. And then the important thing... Space already occupied my ass. That is so not the direction we want that to go in. Oh, I'll let it work. For me, game. Alright. Be a little derpy. 
Again, I'm trying to avoid more and more of these these highway nonsenses. Yeah, look at all these cars. They already had the old route in. It's like you you realize you could just go straight. There's I don't know what you're trying to do. Actually, why are so many of you U-turning? You're fine. No. You're fine. You. You're good. Fuck. Oh, maybe you're not U-turning. I'm just misinterpreting some of the traffic that was going the other way. This creates a traffic light? It might not be one that's killing us, though. Although I'm really tempted to triple lane this up. Well, that's not so bad. Now, that... By not having a bottleneck here, it might alleviate the flow here, but I'm not convinced that this is ever going to flow quickly enough. I think we really need a dedicated one. That avoids this roundabout. I mean, the, that's just going to push the bottleneck sort of a little further here. Because it's almost all traffic that's going one way or another that wants to go south. Yeah, this is just not going to be able to handle the load that we're looking for. And it's a real shame. Because it looks awesome. But there's just too many cars that are looking to go south. These corners are super slow. And these one-lane things just can't handle enough cars. So in the next video, we'll almost certainly have to replace this with another one. But we have a lot of pre-made intersections or interchanges that we can keep dabbling with. Okay, we need a four-way. That's high capacity. This one might work. What's this one called? The sta Oh, stack interchanges are really often good. They have very little weaving. If we can fit that in, and it looks like we should be able to, that will probably have much, much better throughput than the roundabout. It still has a lot of single lane stuff. But I think we'll, we'll have to do that. This this setup probably still has to stay. Uh, just because there's just so much traffic here. Now, on the bright side, that probably means a lot less traffic here. And that is true. Which is good, because it still has one of these original clover leaps, which are not very high capacity. I think I plopped this in at some point. We're not using the other end, which is actually the only saving grace here. Is the fact that there's nothing using the other side of this means that it technically is functional. But yeah, we're going to have to replace this. Oh, it looks so cool. But that is just so slow. And actually, unless... Mm, we might have to make our own. There's so much south traffic. We might have to just make our own that uses triple lane highways to feed the south. Wow. Really? Hmm. Huh. One thing that can also help over here, I gotta end this video, but this, it might be a really good idea to have this go and be a one-way. Uh, that, that should not be a one-way. This can be a two-way. One-way in, and then here. Actually, I don't know if we need dedicated one-ways out. Could people at the bus stop. Bus stops are being used. Um, this is going okay. Good in the direction I want. This is going the wrong way around. All right, so that's going in. That's going out. And this is going in. Might not make a huge difference, but, you know. I can't believe how much this is being used. Also, we do have the secondary highway over here. Oh, I really have to put a cut in this video. Alright, we'll do that. Um, we might actually go and have on and off ramps over here. And 
that might actually make a big difference because there's a lot of people getting off the highway here. They may be able to use these highways to get on and off over here and do much better. I mean, I guess we can get on and off here, which is something, but we may as well provide a little bit of it over here as well. It might help. I'm not convinced that it's the answer to everything. I mean, more public transit may simply be the answer at this point. Actually, a lot of these are, are actual civilians. So you know what? That would make a big difference. So you over here, well, that doesn't really show me your, your point of origin. Nor that one. It's people that get in down here. Ah, feels like it's too early. City's only got 42,000. Why would we build the metro? Well, we might want to. Or just get better buses and passenger trains. There's no passenger train service over here, for example. I mean, there is over here. There's buses. Kind of insulted that more people aren't using my buses. get this down just to make sure the power is good and the water water is not good just for the next episode otherwise I'm gonna start and I'm not gonna realize that everything is terrible boom 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 can I connect over here oh over there and build pipe okay all right we're gonna wrap this up here guys thank you very much for watching we're going to have to keep uh, using these roads. Again, part of it is, you know, just trying to get away with kind of minimalistic things and not too much highway, but I don't know. We might have to do more. Also, this city had a lot of these, yeah, these original intersections, which are not terribly fast. Actually, the traffic here is suddenly a lot better. Maybe we have fixed the problem. It just took a while to adapt. These one-ways here might be helping things. Actually, everything is awesome now. There's that problem of micromanaging your roads too much, and then you end up, you know, not realizing that you sort of fix things along the way. You just have to wait for the traffic to clear. This is actually flowing very nicely now. Hmm. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.